Hi, it's Tara Green. It's August the 11th, which is 811, and in the tarot, of course, the number 8 and the number 11 are interchangeable, uh, and it relates to the symbol of strength, um, Leo, when we're in Leo time, or Libra. So, the card of the day from the beautiful Muse Tarot is called the Ten of Inspiration, and inspiration is fire. So this is the last of the sequence. The tens are like up to here, can't go any further, end of the road. And so here, uh, it's a very interesting image because it doesn't seem very fiery at all to me, although there's a red sort of Sedona-like background. Um, the woman here is carrying a big jar, almost like the woman with the alabaster jar, and there's all these oxen or cows pulling up all of the other pitchers. Um, so it seems like a lot of tasks going on there. Um, maybe you feel like you need a herd of oxen to help you get through your day these days or to get motivated to get anything done. You need that kind of Taurus kind of energy somehow to inspire you. But with everything going on, I can certainly identify with that. Um, so it's the end of what inspired you in the past and perhaps looking for a whole new inspiration. A whole new way to light your fire. Now, speaking of lighting your fire, it will certainly be lit on August the 13th as Mars and Aries squares Pluto and Capricorn. Uh, so we're going to definitely be feeling that energy already. If you do have planets at 22 or 23 degrees of Aries or Capricorn, you're going to feel that direct, you know, boxing match, kind of very scorpionic kind of energy hitting you very hard. Also, of course, 22 to 23 degrees of Cancer and Libra will also feel that energy. Uh, we'll all feel it, of course. Could be the big earthquake. I hope not. Um, could be terrorism, war, all kinds of stuff. So be careful because people are accident prone under those kinds of energies as well. But let's get back to the 11th. I'm getting ahead of myself here in typical Mars and Aries fashion. Um, the sun, the beautiful Leo shining sun in conjuncts Jupiter and Capricorn. And so that can also make you feel a little bit like, mm, I feel lucky, do I feel lucky? I can't really tell where my luck is coming from. I need something solid to count on. And then the Taurus moon, which wants solidity and stability no matter what, trines Jupiter. So it's kind of a very different energy, like ego-wise, you won't get to what you want, but if you stay in your emotional body, which is the moon in Taurus, you will. Then Jupiter, the great god of benefits, gives you his blessings. The Taurus moon trines the sun, or sorry, squares the sun. Uh, and that's a good, you know, also challenging, but a good aspect. You want to be open-hearted and loving and taking care of other people and enjoying this beautiful garden of earthly delights here. Now, the moon in Taurus also sextiles Neptune and Pisces in the afternoon, so you could be dreaming about some beautiful Taurus dream about a beautiful home or clothes or sitting back and, you know, just doing whatever your body enjoys to make you feel like you can dream on and get on that magic carpet, so that's really lovely. And then also Taurus moon trines Pluto in Capricorn. Now, if you're really on your soul's path, if you really embody that, then Pluto is the god of wealth and riches and ties in the soul with the unconscious with the soul's purpose in this lifetime and then you can manifest it so that's a really great energy uh as well i just looked at venus this morning she's so big and bright and beautiful in the sky so i want to wish you all the best blessings uh, i know things are pretty intense this week for sure you want to get in touch with me at terratero.com or on my blog here at infinitynow.wordpress.com please uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram too.